You know, when you get a call from the Lord, I grew up in this area, but not about 12 miles from here. And then God began to elevate me, and I became uh, a deacon. Uh, and I worked in the deacon ministry, and then I became uh, the chairman of the deacon board. So in, in, in 2008, uh, we purchased a church from Greater New Hope Baptist Church. And this church became Greater Joy Baptist Church. And we began to uh, start uh, revitalizing the community. Began, began by witnessing in the community and inviting people to come to church. And so now we're, we're growing. You know, as growing up in a single parent home, you know, and being the oldest child, uh, instead of being an example, a big brother, I was an example in the wrong way. And uh, I made a life of crime my whole life, you know, basically, we, we just call it just living, where we was coming from, low income, one parent home, you know, didn't have a role model there, no father. Um, till 2009, as I met the pastor, <clears throat> you know, he witnessed to me and walked up to me and my family. You know, Yo, do y'all know Christ? And he just boldly, you know, because you got to be bold in the Lord when you're working for the Lord. You don't want nothing, no scary person, you know. And he just boldly walked up and asked us if we know, know God. And, like, you know, we heard of God, but you know, personally, no. So we just come to church. You know, come to church one night. You know, Wednesday we have Bible study. So me and my family went. And it just, the word, you know, when I, I, I don't know what happened, man. When I, 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 wanted, I wanted to come back again. This is a vision for this community. As you can see the rundown houses. These were actually, people were living in these houses, selling drugs, drinking alcohol. So God pressed it upon my heart. Isaiah 58 and 12 is our vision. We are the repairer of the breaches. We're after to seek the lost, to nurture the saved, and reclaim the backslide. And so that's a lot of people in this community we got to change the atmosphere. My name is John Owens, and uh, I'm the pastor at New Bethel Baptist Church. And so through a mutual friendship, I met Pastor Morton. And uh, as a result of that, we developed a pretty good relationship, and I began to hear his vision for the community and what he was trying to do. Not only am I a pastor, but I'm also a licensed contractor, which is kind of what he needed. <laughs> and so I showed up, began to look at some of these projects, looked at some of the homes, and what I found out was that they were really beyond repair uh, based on codes and things like that. There was no way financially or otherwise to make that work. And so we prayed about it. We've talked about it over the past few months. And the Lord has sort of given us the vision to try to build new homes that would meet the needs of the community. And so uh, we began the process of drawing some, dr some rough drafts and um, enlisted some draftsmen, people like that. And so we're praying and trusting the Lord to provide not only some, some free labor for us, but also maybe some material donations and things like that to try to help these houses be restored to where they need to be so that people uh, can be living in them and uh, be safe and, and really clean this area up as best we can. Sitting around the table with, 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 with two pastors that I never met before in my life, it just it builds my faith. Not even knowing each other, we, we have kindred spirits because we are Christians. We are who we say we are. Right. And we love people. In our church, we've been preaching on being the salt, being the light of the world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's easy to preach it and talk about it amongst yeah. ourselves, but to go out and do it, it's different, yeah. that's a different issue. Yes. And when um, some of our church folks, John and Melissa Byron and Brandon Candace um, Stewart, mm -hmm. shared with me what's happening in uh, to their small group mm -hmm. in the Oxford community and they talked highly about you. You know, uh, it didn't take long for me to be convinced that I need to be part of this. And I told them, I said, whatever you need, we're behind this. And because it's about changing the community. It's about not just listening to the word and, and talking about it in church, but going out and actually getting your hands dirty yeah. and seeing lives changed for Jesus Christ and by Jesus Christ. Uh, and this uh, event coming up, Unity in Our Community, I think it's it's so needed in our world today because 
in America, we're so divided. Yeah. We're divided socially, we're mm -hmm. divided <coughs> racially, we're divided um, as Christians. Yeah. This is... It's timely, man. It, this is needed. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you're absolutely right, Pastor, that God has blended us together. <laughs> Yeah. And then who knows how many more are meant to be sure. yes. to partner and say, we're here to support what God is doing yeah. at this little corner in Oxford. Mm -hmm. As you know, I'm, I'm Pastor Ronnie Morton in Greater Joy Baptist Church here in Oxford. And uh, we, we have a little saying, you know, we're in the hood. But God loves the hood too. We want you to be praying for the souls that will come to Christ that day.